every day. That's how often our animals touch our hearts and lift us up. That's how often someone makes the important decision to open a forever home to a dog or a cat as a chosen family member. That's how often the Alaska SPCA impacts our communities by reducing the suffering of Alaska's companion animals every day. The Alaska SPCA was founded in 1955. Our mission is to relieve the suffering of Alaska's companion animals. And very few people realize this, but we are not affiliated with the, uh, the National American SPCA. In fact, uh, we do not receive regular funding from any national organization. And the donations received by Alaskans stay here in the state. The Alaska SPCA offers low-cost, high-quality veterinary services. Spay and neuter is one of the most important. We also provide dentistry, digital radiology, vaccinations, and microchipping. Bringing spay and neuter services to remote locations throughout Alaska is making a difference too. You know, and our uh, organization's mission is reducing the suffering of Alaska's companion animals. One big part of our, of our mission is the spay and neuter clinic. In addition to these spay and neuter services, um, we are able to do um, dental cleanings, dental procedures, especially um, root mouths that have really um, bad dental disease that otherwise uh, the clients are not able to get taken care of elsewhere. We do have a mobile unit, so we can go you know, just about anywhere the road system goes. Um, and what this allows us to do is reach places that aren't served by veterinarians, so giving people the opportunity um, to be able to use our services um, gives us closer to that goal of having you know, our pets in homes where they belong. The Alaska SPCA has been the starting place for some truly perfect outcomes. In February of 2019, we went to the Alaska SPCA and we were looking around to try to add a new member to our family. And um, we saw Ollie. And I love the breed, so I'm really familiar with the traits, like the smiling, the fact they have no tail, so when they get happy, they I always call them wiggle butt. I don't feel like Ollie's owner. I feel like Ollie's friend. And he lives with us because he agrees to live with us. So it's been, it's been a wonderful ride and we're really glad that we could offer Ollie a forever home. Well, I was working at the shelter and we were kind of thinking of another cat. And uh, when we got Twister in at the shelter, I told the person at the shelter, I said, he's going home with me. He's been a great cat, sits on Mo's lap every night, and I play with him every day. Yeah, you talk? You do? We're cat people. This is Hondo. He had a broken pelvis when we got him. We fostered him. He immediately um, just started to gain weight after a little bit of love and TLC. And his pelvis was broken and so um, Dr. Davidson went in and took the head of the femur bone off and then readjusted his um, bone and closed up and it was about a three hour surgery and it was a successful one. Well, Juno is about six years old, right? He's five. Five or six. And we got him from the Alaska SPCA. He came from a village. He's big and he's soft. Kind of like a big teddy bear. Before we got Juno, my mom had very, very little interest in another cat because she was usually the one who cleaned the litter box. For every single Alaska SPCA board meeting, my dad would send a text and a photo asking if he could bring it home. And her deal was if you clean the litter box. And he really liked Juno. And he does clean the litter box. <laughs> so this is Willa. I got her from the SPCA about a year ago, this month actually. She's missing her right eye and she went to the animal control. So they sent her to the SPCA and they removed the eye, um, but it doesn't hinder at all. She bounces all around the house all the time. When I brought Willa home, within 15 minutes she was on the couch with me just purring away. My husband hasn't always been a cat person, so he was hesitant. It took me a while to kind of encourage him to get a cat, and now he's a, he's a Willa person. He likes the Willa the cat. 
She came from Nome and had a pretty rough life. She's been remarkably resilient and is healthier than ever before right now. Every morning we wake up and she'll jump out of bed and her tail will be wagging and it's just this little, you know, nugget of happiness that greets us every morning. We kind of have a running joke too because when Taquito sleeps, she kind of snores and chortles in her sleep. And so does the baby a little bit. So sometimes we'll look at each other and say, was that the baby or was that Taquito? This is Mr. Pickles. And this is the story on how I got him. I went in to look around and I seen Mr. Mr. Pickles there. He's looking at me, he's happy, wagging his tail. They told me about him, how he had his one eye and he came from a village. I brought him home, gave him a bath. Here he is, happy as can be. Everybody just loves him and we do. He will be our dog for the rest of his life. She came by herself from rural Alaska. Naga and I clicked a lot and I just fell in love with her and so I ended up adopting her. Life is great with Naga. She brings a lot of joy to not only my life but my family's life as well. She's part of the pack. We have other dogs at home and she brings her own unique qualities. She's a lot faster than them. She'll steal all the bully sticks and she doesn't care and they, they let her. Yeah, sneaky like a fox. <laughs> So I was kind of looking for a cat. I hadn't had a cat in a long time and I knew I wanted an older cat. Uh, I walked to the SPCA thrift store and there was Lenny, previously known as Muffin. They said, oh, he's, he's a good cat. He's a little bit older, he's 12, and he had a thyroid problem. So he needed medication every other day. And I was like, that's no problem for me. So I filled out my application and then they told me when a senior adopts a senior, it's free. So that even sweetened the deal there. He's not real snuggly, but he sits very close to me, and uh, he's, just a, he's just a cool cat. This is Oreo, and Oreo came to the Alaska SPCA from Nome, Alaska. He was a surrender. He came to the agency with horrible teeth, um, and he has a bad, I call it a floppy foot, but it's, it's just a deformity. Um, and he's 14 years old, so quite elderly. Um, the ED of Alaska SPCA asked me to foster him. So I had him for a couple months and it became really obvious to me that I was getting attached. He's kind of changed everyone's life, but in a good way. And I'm uh, very glad that, that he came my way. Um, in fact, I'm kind of getting teary just telling you the stories. Every day, you make our work possible. Alaska SPCA is only able to help the animals that so desperately need us through your generous support. Through your donations, your volunteer efforts, your gifts of food and supplies, your willingness to give foster care, we can continue to provide Alaska's pets with the love, attention, and medical care they need. Your impact is enormous. It makes an incredible difference every day.